Good obstacle right there. We're gonna have to get out to clear this one. So we'll get through this one just to come and find another one. Oh, nice cutty. Pretty fish. All right, guys. Today we are snowshoeing into a beautiful little stream. Hoping to find some cutties and browns. Hoping to find some pools that will hold fish this time of year. Couldn't have asked for a better day. It is absolutely gorgeous. I think I have too many layers on. It's almost feeling too warm out here. No gloves required, tons of snow. And this stream's got some beautiful little cutties and browns. So we're gonna see if we can catch them. I'm here with my nephew, Sammy. And today we're gonna do some exploring. Looks pretty good, dude. Boy. How high the snow is. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> so fun. Parsi crazy, always fun. Dang, that's cool. There's some cute little pockets. Oh yeah, oh, that's gorgeous. So a couple of obstacles that we're gonna have to overcome and navigate today. Number one is just getting in and out of the river, dealing with all of the snow. We're standing on a couple of feet of snow. With snowshoes, no big deal at all. Once we get in the river with our wading boots, we hope to be able to stay in the river for the majority of the day, but if there's any log jams or places where the river's clogged up and we have to get out and post hole through this, it's gonna be a bit of a challenge. Second of all, we need to find the right type of water. There aren't gonna be fish holding in riffles and faster pockets, anything like that. We need to find the slower, deeper stuff. Kind of like that pool right there behind me looks pretty good. So if we can find the right type of water, we should be able to find fish and have a fun day. I'm glad I still have the snowshoes on. These are the kind of log jams and when that crosses the river like that, that's gonna make it a little bit tough to navigate once we take these snowshoes off. Ooh, hopefully there's not too many of those up here. So today Sammy has opted to go with the dry dropper setup. It's a great way to suspend a nymph through some of these pockets. Fish may or may not hit the dry fly. It's a great way to cover some of this water. I'm gonna go with the Euro nymphing leader setup. Below my cider, I've got about two and a half, three feet of tippet with a thread Frenchie with an ice dub, with an olive ice dub collar. This fly should get the job done for us. So let's go have some fun. Oh yeah, this looks like a great spot to ditch the snowshoes and start fishing. These snowshoes make all the difference though. Holy smokes. Go to glide on top of the snow for the most part instead of post only. All right, time to fish. Got him. <clears throat> Little brownie. Oh, and he's off. Oh, there's a fish. Ah, got him. Dude, that was sweet. Look how dark that fish is. Yep. Just right, right in front of that rock. Oh yeah. Oh, he's pretty. Oh, dark. See ya, buddy. Oh, he ate the dry. He ate the dry. I was about ready. I was still pulled out by the line. <laughs> All right, so we've been nymphing for the first 20, 30 minutes, and we've found a couple of fish, but more than anything, we've been seeing fish rise in these little pockets. Looking on the snow, I'm seeing a few midges, but more than anything, I'm seeing the little tiny winter stoneflies. So on my Euro rig, I'm gonna tie on, on the dropper tag, put a little dry fly on, and see if we can't make a little adjustment and improve our success. See if we can't get it done with this dry dropper setup on a Euro rig. Get up here to some of the bigger pots. Yeah, there's some good ones up here. Dude, such a pretty day to be out on the water. Got him. Oh, on the dry fly. 
That was so sweet. <laughs> Look at all those obstacles across the river. Luckily, we don't have to get out to navigate it. We can just scooch underneath. Oh, hit your dry fly. I watched it slowly come up and then boom. That was awesome. That's a big old dry fly too. Nice dude. Is he on the dry? Yeah, he's on my dry. Dude, that's awesome. Nice job, Sammy. Just like that. Oh, cool little brownie. Little tiny guy. On the dry. Nice. <laughs> Such a cool spot. Yay! Oh, <laughs> oh through this. Oh, <laughs> nice little brownie. <laughs> on, the on the nymph. Nice. <laughs> We're gonna have to climb over that log that's covered in three feet of snow. Another another log up there, that's worse. Good off school right there. We're gonna have to get out to clear this one. Ha! <laughs> Nice job, Sammy. Post on. It's up to our knees. But, just like that, we're back to the river. Oh yeah. Little guy. Wow. The smallest fish of the day. <laughs> Look at that little guy. See you nice. All right, see you buddy. See ya. Oh my gosh. Come out, come out. Right after I say that. Come out. I don't know if that one's coming. Oh, it's got to come out. So we'll get through this one just to come and find another one. <laughs> hey, give me your oh. Hold on, hold on. Let me get a good grip. Okay, move your elbow forward and then I can pull you. There we go. There we go. <laughs> now we're talking. Oh yeah, nice job, Sammy. <laughs> nice. All right, well, we just stopped to grab a quick bite of lunch. We've been catching some fish, but none of them over eight inches. Yeah. <laughs> got some on dries, got some on nymphs, been fun. All browns too, no cuts yet. So, we're feeling a little better now we got some food in our stomachs. We're gonna stay at it, see if we can find some cutties and maybe a little better quality fish. But either way, look at this setting. Oh my goodness. Couldn't get any better. There we go. <laughs> How are they so small? Okay, he's got the record for the smallest fish of the day. Hello, little baby brownie. <laughs> they do. All right, see you, buddy. Oh, nice cutty. Pretty fish. Ooh, very pretty. On the blowtorch. Ooh, nice. Ooh, gorgeous. 
Okay, so I just got that good looking cutty. I'm gonna do a GoPro dome dome shot. I'm a sucker for getting good looking shots. A beautiful fish and this is a beautiful surrounding. So let's see how it turns out. All right, so today I have fished a single nymph on a Euro rig, a dry dropper on a Euro rig, and for the deeper pools, back to a double nymph rig on the Euro setup. All methods of caught fish, Sammy's dry droppers caught fish. It's been a ton of fun. All right, there's a log jam that fills the entire river. Here we go. Let's see if we die or not. This might be a bad idea. True, st true story. Oh boy. I kind of feel like at any moment, I could sink up to my elbows. Whew. Whew. Okay, just to my crotch, didn't make it to my elbows yet. Whoa, you found that spot, huh, Sammy? <laughs> Oof. <laughs> you can do it. Nice job. Now we get to navigate through this crap. Yikes. <laughs> well, there's a few feet of snow. Oh man, this is sketchy, Sammy. Something tells me this is not a good idea. Dude, I don't even know where to go from here. I can see the river running under there. I'm not going in that stuff. Here, hold this rod. I'll get up and then I'll... Oh, these are thorn... Yeah, so don't grab those. Oh, gosh. At least up here I know we're on dirt, you know what I'm saying? Okay, got him. Here you go. There you go. Just get on dirt. Yeah, for... <laughs> But I want to slide down there, not right here, where it's straight down. <laughs> okay. That's a good looking spot. All right, Sammy. <laughs> we did it. We made it back in the water. The bad part is we got to come back out that same way. <laughs> it's always easier in the dark, though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, nice job. Woo. Right here, man. Yeah. Oh, There we go. Oh, <laughs> yeah, definitely better than the last two. Cute little fella. Cute little cutty. Hey, we're finding a few more cutties at least. Well, we're not setting any records with the size of the fish, but they're pretty. Oh, that's a better one. Cutty. Beautiful, beautiful cutty. Nice. Woo! Little fish. Nice. Yeah! <laughs> Hey, looks like a good one. Nice, dude. What a wonderful day. It's been fun having Sammy out here in this super cool winter environment. 
catching fish. Started out the day catching a whole bunch of little fish, but thank goodness Sammy came through at the end with a nice fish. That was awesome. So the flies for the day, we fished. Blow torches, lickety splits, thread Frenchies, iron lotus, all on the bottom. Uh, Olsen, CDC, Midge on the top. All of them caught fish. Those are all what we call confidence flies. And we created an ebook that's over 80 pages long that introduces 31 of our top producing patterns to you guys. Devin Olson, Lance Egan, and myself put it together. I'll go ahead and link it down below. Also, we covered so many different techniques today, it's hard to explain them all in detail on a trip like this. So we created what's called the Modern Nymphing Masterclass, where you can hop in. There's over 100 chapters, over five and a half hours of content, where you can learn not only how to do these techniques, but how to master them. It's a really good resource. We invite you to check it out. Also linked down below. Lastly, instead of staying here on YouTube and clicking on a bunch of videos, we invite you to turn off your device, head outside, and have an adventure of your own. Until next time, thanks so much. Man down, Sammy. <laughs> hey, do I pull you this way? Sammy, I got a question for you. After all the up and down and all that stuff with the logs, was it worth it? Oh yeah, always. <laughs>